here we go. Oh, my favorite student. A skydiver is in free fall. I've experienced free fall. Have I mentally jumped out of an airplane? She has been falling long enough to hit terminal velocity. Which of the following statements are true? A, there are no forces acting on the skydiver since she's not accelerating. True or false? False. The magnitude of the gravitational force is less than the magnitude of the force of air resistance. The net force on the skydiver is equal to zero. Once the skydiver pulls her parachute and starts to slow down, the net force on the skydiver is pointing up. So half mark for each of those for a total of two marks. So this question out of two. Number two, find the acceleration of both masses if there's no friction. This is a job for a free body diagram. It's going to be M1G, normal force number one, tension. M2G, normal force number two, F applied, tension. Who's winning F applied? And then minus tension plus tension equals M all A. Whoa. I slept wonky yesterday. My back is crazy sore. That actually hurt to do the little stretch this time, but felt good too. How would I get the A by itself? I think I'm going to divide by M all. So I'm going to get A equals 42 divided by 10 plus 15. So it's going to be 42 divided by 25. Can I do that in my head? I could divide by 100 and then times by 4. 16.8? No, that's not right. Uh, 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 1.68. Two marks if you got that. Otherwise, I would give you one mark if I saw the equation, half mark for the numbers, and a half mark for the answer. Find the tension. You could use mass 2. I'm going to use mass 1 because for mass 1, tension equals M1A. There is no loser. So I think I can do that in my head. It's going to be 10 times 1.68. It's going to be 16.8 newtons. Is that right? I hope. Again, one mark for the equation, half mark for the numbers, half mark for the answer. And you would have gotten something similar exactly if you used uh, mass 2. Following system is moving to the right and, ooh, slowing down. Find the acceleration. Okay, free body diagram. I'm going to have M1G, normal force number 1, tension. And I guess there's friction, so I'll have... Friction force number one. M2G, normal force number two, F applied, tension. What, did I miss one? I wrote friction already. Oh, there's friction on both of these. Okay. Who's winning? left the frictions are anything to the left is going to be winner plus so my equation is going to look like this friction force number one minus tension plus tension plus friction force number two minus f applied that equals m all a okay hey i still lose a little bit of tension and then I would still say, you want me to find A? I'll divide by M all. A is going to be, friction is what times what? Mu times the normal force. Normal force number one plus mu times the normal force number two minus F applied all over M all. Problem, I don't know the normal force. Oh, but look, 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 look. I don't know the force the same size as the normal force. M1G and M2G. And also notice, by the way, in this question, kids always want to put M1G and M2G into this question. They're not along the rope, and they're not going to show up if there's no friction. 
So A is going to be, what's mu? I don't know what's mu with you. 0.24 times M1, 10, times 9.8, plus 0.24 times 15, times 9.8, run out of room here, minus 42, all divided by 10 plus 15. Uh, is there a built-in error check? Do I know this answer is going to be less than 9.8? Nothing vertical here, so I can't make that assumption. Probably less, because that's a pretty big acceleration, but I can't assume that. Bracket 0.24 times 10 times 9.8 plus 0.24 times 15 times 9.8 minus 42. Close off the top, divided by 10 plus 15. Y'all get 0.672? So it barely decelerating. This is almost in balance. Yeah. Um, when you did this, did you let friction be a winner or did you let F applied be a winner? In your equations, friction was a winner. So you added the negative afterwards. You didn't get a negative on your calculator. I'll live with it because I, I really should have said find the magnitude of the acceleration. Well, it's negative if we decide slowing down is negative, which we did in the last unit. But in this unit, we've gotten much more, I don't know, whatever makes the math easier, let that be positive, even if it's to the left. And in fact, in my equation, I did let to the left be positive. It wouldn't affect part A, but if I did something like... Uh, the object is moving with a velocity of 20 meters per second, how long until it comes to a stop, and you were using the kinematics equations, VF equals VI plus AT and those ones, then you would have to let A be negative because we're slowing down. I don't know. I haven't got there yet. How about let me solve part B, and then we'll find out. It wants me to find tension. I think I'm going to use mass one. Who's winning? Friction force number one. Who's losing? Tension. That equals M1A. Uh, swappy dance. Friction is mu times the normal force, number one, minus M1A. That equals tension. So tension equals mu. I don't know what's mu. I don't know what's mu with you. 0.24. I don't know normal force, number one. Oh, M1G. minus 10 times, I put the positive value in here. So it's going to be 0.24 times 10 times 9.8 minus 10 times answer button. Did you all get a tension of 16.8? Uh, By a fluke again, the same answer as before. Is it 16.8 or am I wrong? People nodding? Yep. That's just a fluke. Yep. So the other tension, it would be uh, F applied minus, sorry, it would be tension minus F applied equals MA. Sorry, it would be tension plus friction minus F applied equals MA. Oh, did you forget to include the friction? There you go. So if I would give you probably 1.5 out of 3. Sorry, this was two marks. I would give you one out of two. Uh, ooh, elevator questions. This is a job for a free body diagram. Although, Ali, if it's okay with you, I'm going to do a generic free body diagram. I'm going to recognize that the tug of war is between, oh, wait a minute, MG down and normal force pointing up. And one might be longer, one might be shorter, or they might be the same size. I don't know, but that's my tug of war. Which way, Allie, are we accelerating in part A? Which force has got to be the winner then? 
it's going to be Fn minus Mg equals Ma. And Hannah, as far as I'm concerned, I can either give you the acceleration and say find the normal force, or I can give you the normal force and say find the acceleration, or I can give you both and say find the mass. You'd have two m's, get them to the same side. It would be wonderful if there was a grade 9 mathematical operation that I could use to change them from two m's into one. So it's all fair game now. Uh, anyways, they want me to find the normal force because that's the scale reading. Normal force is going to be ma plus mg. It's going to be m75 a 1.6 plus 75 times 9.8. I could do that one in my head. It's going to be 75 times 10.8 times 11.4. Ah, no, a little yucky. Do you all get 855? Is that right? Would this person feel heavier or lighter? How do you know? What's your normal normal? That. And you're adding something to it. Of course you feel heavier. Ooh, now we're accelerating down in part B. Who's winning? Mg. Who's losing? Normal force. What's that equal? Ma. Swappy dance. So you get the normal force by itself. I'll get Mg minus Ma. That equals the normal force. It's going to be M75. G 9.8 minus M75. 1.25 and I get 641 .25. 641 is that right? People nodding by the way for both of these if you got the right answer 2 out of 2 otherwise it would be half mark for that half mark for getting the normal force by itself half mark for the numbers Half mark for the answer. Again, half mark for that. Half mark for getting the normal force by itself. Half mark for the numbers. Half mark for the answer. C. What's my equation for C? Max. But I'm moving up. Isn't there a loser? Oh, I'm moving up, but I'm not accelerating up. Okay, so I can say... Normal force just equals mg, which is going to be 75 times 9.8. That I can do in my head. It's going to be 750 take away 15. So 735? So one mark for that, half mark for the numbers, half mark for the answer. Oh, what if we're in free fall? Sorry? Yeah, and this is what we kind of explained last year. We said astronauts float on the International Space Station, not because there's no gravity up there. Actually, G on the International Space Station is about 9.2. They float because they're in free fall. There's no normal force. In fact, I think I showed you the OK Go music video last year where they did a bunch of dives on the Vomit Comet and they got temporary free fall, and then they just spliced them all together with morphing technology. Can you give yourself a lovely score, please, out of 19?